Hello everyone. And this video has a much more somber tone as I'd like to welcome you to a farewell of a soldier of the Legion. Salute. Welcome back to my dad's channel. If you're new here, make sure to click that like button and subscribe and don't forget to share. Now the fallen soldier that we're gonna be talking about here is a recently canceled card for me in February and that is the American Express Blue Cash Preferred. Unfortunately, it did not make the cut for 2024. I held the car for two years and I paid the $95 fee for the second year and the card got great use, but unfortunately it won plenty of battles and just did not win the war. So my original reason and interest for having the card was because I was getting into the credit card game. I was watching videos. I was doing everything totally out of order with no knowledge of the Chase 524 rule, knowing that Amex just had these cool cards with cool credits that I knew I could use. So after I got my platinum card in January, in that, that very same January, a week later, I heard about this card that gave 6% back on streaming. I just cut the cord. I made a video about the card my first three months. It performed. It fit great into my setup at the time. So the 6% back in online streaming was amazing. And then I realized also I got 6% back on grocery costs. Now I travel a lot for work and I tend to hit grocery stores on my own more when I'm out of town in order to stock up a room so I don't have to go out and eat. So that was another thing that was a great draw and I was able to use it in conjunction with the fact that I also had the platinum card, which was giving me 10X on restaurants. So the 10X on restaurants and the 6% back on groceries, it helped me set up like a hybrid trifecta that I actually did a video on as well, where I paired it all with the Blue Business Plus in order to maximize my savings and or value returned on my food spend. So that meant I didn't even have to get the gold card until like six months into the year, which I eventually did. The other thing was, is that I was traveling even way more. So I was getting rental cars and the card had a 3% gas multiplier and gas multipliers are kind of rare for American Express cards. So that helped me out greatly. And in addition to that, the first year's annual fee was waived and I only paid $95 for the next year. So just in case you're planning on doing a fee hike, I'm not gonna be there for that party. But the card at the time was a great fit and all of those things were total pluses in my book. So why did I cancel it? Cancel the member of the Amex Legion is because I needed to make a credit card space in my Amex stable. Now, I am no sledge by any means or any stretch of the imagination. So Amex will say no to me if I look to get more than five credit cards. It literally almost happened with my Hilton Aspire card. So now with that considered, I needed a slot open and this is my least used card. Now, during my maturing process in the credit card game, because I had this card, which fits so well in the beginning, now it's starting to overlap and it's starting to overlap in a in not so great way. Because I now have the gold card, even though I got 6% back on groceries with this card, the 4X MR points of the gold card are far more valuable to me because they are transferable currencies, which leads me to another negative of the card that ended up not working for me per se, even though I made it work for me, is the fact that this card does not earn regular cash back. It earns Amex reward dollars. So even the cash back that it earns isn't cash back that you can snatch and go spend on other things. It's literally only good to be applied to card charges. So with that being considered, that was uh, just not another feather in its cap. Now, in addition to that, as far as overlap is concerned, let's sweep the gold card off the table. But the streaming service actually overlap with multipliers where I can get Chase UR points with my Chase Sapphire Preferred, since I'm an authorized user on my wife's card, and my Capital One Saver One card. They both have streaming multipliers. Now, UR points, much more versatile than Amex reward dollars. And even the Capital One cash back can be converted to miles at a penny a point which makes those ver more versatile as well. So the problem was that this card had overlap with other cards that I could use to extract more value via travel. 
So that was also another nail in the coffin for this card. Now, also, do I think it's a bad card? No, I don't. I think it's a great card. It just ceased to be as useful for me as it was in the first six months that I had it. And then also, you already know that with Amex, they want an annual fee out of you. So that way you can cancel a card in good faith, which I did. I even made it my business to wait until, you know, thirteenth the 13th month instead of the 12th month to cancel it. Now, I would recommend this card for anybody who wants to, you know, slide their foot into the Amex ecosystem. Now, mind you, this is not an MR point earning card, so you will not have access to travel partners. But the card does come with credits to offset the annual fee with Disney credits. I'm not going to get into those now, but also for single people who don't do a ton of grocery spend, but significant enough to feed themselves, you can actually work this out with the 6% back multiplier. Now, offsetting the annual fee to that, that is how you're going to keep the multiplier as high as possible. Because other than that, once you do, you know, the asset versus liability balance, it's not going to be great unless you're using the other credits as well. It can knock that 6% down to just over 4%. And at that point, you might as well have the gold card and get the $240 worth of credits plus 4x MR points. So that is something that you want to keep in mind. But other than that, it is not a bad card. And also, the good thing about this card is that it does have a downgrade path. Because if I wanted to keep this variant of the card, I can simply take it down to the blue cash every day from the preferred and still be able to utilize a lot of cash back mechanism. But unfortunately, with my addiction to travel and now my wife's burgeoning addiction to travel, this card is not going to be for us, at least not in the near future. So we will figure it out as time goes on. So that is about it. We lost one of the Legion. Who knows? Maybe another card will be coming to replace it. Maybe I have some wild tricks and schemes cooking up in here. So let's um, sit back, relax, and wait and see because I am surreptitiously doing the pointy thing, but you never know what I may add and how I may work it into the strategy. So I'm not going to hold you guys up any further. I'll see you later.